Hello, my name is Jamie Willett. I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting, and today we're going to be talking about code signing and how you can set up the CI-CD integration for Code Sign Secure and Azure DevOps. We are going to begin with a short introduction to code signing. What is code signing? Code signing is the process of digitally signing executables and scripts to confirm the author's identity and provide assurance that the code has not been altered or compromised in any way while in transit. First, a software publisher who wants to digitally sign code will generate a public-private key pair and create a CSR, or Certificate Signing Request. They will submit the public key and CSR to a certificate authority, who will verify the identity of the publisher and authenticate the publisher's digitally signed certificate request. Then they will bundle the identity of the publisher with a public key and sign the bundle with their issuing CA certificate, creating a code signing certificate that will be issued to the software publisher for code signing. Armed with the code signing certificate, the publisher is ready to sign code. When code is signed, several pieces are added to the original file holding the executable code. This bundled information is used by the application to validate the publisher and check against code tampering. How does code signing work? A public-private key pair and certificate signing request are created for the publisher. A hash of the code is produced by passing it through a hashing algorithm, creating a fixed length digest of the file. The hash is cryptographically unique representation of the file. The hash can be reproduced only by using the unaltered file and hashing algorithm that was used to create the hash. The hash is passed through a signing algorithm using the publisher's private key as an input. Information about the publisher and the CA is drawn from the code signing certificate and incorporated into the signature. The original code, signature, and code signing certificate are bundled together. The code signing certificate key is added into the bundle as the public key is required to authenticate the code when it is verified. The code is now ready for distribution and is packaged in a form that will allow the user to verify for authenticity. Why should your organization implement code signing? Code signing establishes trust in the application or update being provided to the user. It opens the door for your product to be included in app stores. It provides a means to detect malicious alteration of legitimate code, and it reduces the risk of identity theft or reputational damage to your organization, as it validates the application author and integrity of the application. All computing and smart devices allow installing software. Some might be upgrades and patches, while some might be additional applications. In most cases, users are asked to make a spot decision, run or don't run, install or don't install, or run or cancel. Run or don't run asks the user whether or not to run the downloaded code. How does a user decide? How does a user or user agent know whether or not to trust the software? The answer is code signing. Users should only allow installation of software that is signed by a trusted certificate authority. A digitally signed code by a trusted authority provides assurance that the software they are installing is not a malicious code or an alteration of code to become malicious. We will now discuss the CI-CD pipeline and the benefits implementing it in your environment can provide to your organization. What are CI and CD? CI is continuous integration. It's an approach to continually validate the state of a code base through automated testing. It facilitates collaboration, speed, and software quality. CD, or continuous development, is an extension of CI that goes beyond integrating code changes and focuses on automating the deployment process. Automation of stages like building, testing, packaging, and deployment. A full CI-CD pipeline involves planning, coding, building, testing, releasing, deploying, and operating. CI-CD can be implemented with the assistance from a variety of different platforms. 
Today we're going to focus on Azure DevOps. CI-CD is used to automate and streamline the software development process, ensuring faster and more reliable software delivery. It automates the building, testing, and deployment of applications, ensuring code quality and reducing human error. Azure DevOps is a CI-CD tool. It offers comprehensive CI-CD pipeline with seamless integration with Azure services facilitating deployment to cloud environments. We will now discuss Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is a powerful cloud-based platform that integrates people, processes, and tools to streamline software development and enable seamless collaboration throughout the entire development lifecycle. Azure DevOps CI-CD pipeline automates the build, test, and deployment process for software development. Before we explore code signing using CodeSign Secure with the CI-CD pipeline in Azure DevOps, let us briefly recap some of the benefits of the Azure DevOps environment. Azure DevOps provides a unified platform for managing source code, tracking work items, and automating builds and releases, making collaboration easy. DevOps provides a platform for agile project management that enables teams to plan, track, and deliver software projects effectively. DevOps' extensive toolchain supports popular version control systems like Git and supports many popular programming languages and frameworks. In addition, DevOps provides analytics and insights to assist in making data-driven decisions based on project progress. By integrating Azure DevOps with CodeSign Secure CI-CD pipeline, these familiar benefits of Azure DevOps can be paired with an easy-to-use and secure code signing solution. To code sign with Azure DevOps, first you will need a registered account with Azure DevOps and a project you wish to sign. Using DevOps Portal, we will need to generate an authentication token. We will use this setup to the runner in the directory where CodeSign Secure's EC Signer KSP is located. Then you will connect the pipeline to your code repository by configuring the .ymal file. All that is left is to run the pipeline and you can now sign your files. We will now show a brief video demonstration explaining this process in detail so that you can easily sign your code using Azure DevOps and CodeSign Secure with the CI-CD pipeline. As a first step, you're going to need to create a personal access token. We will create this token and give it full access. With our token creating, our next step will be to go to Project Settings. And under Pipelines, we're going to go to Agent Pools. We're going to go to the default pool and create a new agent. We're going to copy the code from here in order to create our agent. After hitting download, we're going to get the file. We're going to then place the file into a agents folder in our C drive. We're going to extract the contents. Once the instruction is complete, we will use command prompt in order to configure the agent. The first piece of information we're going to need is the address of the work group that we are in. 
we'll copy it from the address bar and give it to command prompt. We will then put in the correct information for the pipeline, including the authentication token. We'll set the agent pool to default. Next, we will create a pipeline with a link to our code. We're going to select the starter pipeline. Next, you will configure your pipeline with a script to launch the KSP and sign your file. You can see a sample script of this. We're going to go over some information to make sure it all lines up. Our branch tag must match the trigger, and you must include a in path to a certificate to prove your identity to the CodeSign Secure Server. Afterwards, we can run our job, and we can see that all of the checks are passing, and we have successfully signed our file. This concludes today's video. If you have any questions regarding Code Sign Secure, the CICD pipeline, or its integration with Azure DevOps, please reach out to Encryption Consulting. Thank you very much.